Hi everyone. Welcome to the part 6 video of building LLM applications using the GenAI stack. In this video, we are going to learn about how to integrate multiple data sources in a RAG pipeline. A RAG pipeline or in short a retrieval augmented generation pipeline is something that helps you to create a chatbot or something of that sort and by providing a specific context so that you can incline the knowledge of an LLM towards the data source provided. Here we are going to use a CSV file, a PDF file and a YouTube video link and this will help us to ask questions about the video or the P PDF file or the CSV file or the content provided in it. So yeah, we are going to do that right now. As you can see, I am at app.airplaner.com and I have created a new stack for myself with a chat interface. So first of all, we are going to use uh, separate loaders for every type of data we are going to use. So we have a YouTube loader, a PDF loader and a CSV loader. Uh, so that we can use them for the specific and respective purposes. So yeah, we are gonna add those components to start the process. Here I'm gonna use the CSV loader, the pi PDF loader for the PDF file and the YouTube loader. Yeah, these three are the loaders which we are gonna use. So let me separate them for a better visibility. Yeah. So I'll be uploading my resume as the PDF file. And I've also downloaded a housing data set from Kaggle, uh, which I'm going to use for the CSV file. And I'm going to use this specific YouTube video on artificial intelligence. So right now we are going to split the data into smaller chunks. So this process will help us to fit the entire context into the context length of the LLM. So that the LLM does not forget the initial data present in the content. So yeah, we are going to use the text splitter, uh, specifically the recursive character text splitter. Since we have three uh, documents, so we are going to use three recursive character text splitters. We are going to connect the document with the uh, specific splitter. Now we are going to convert the uh, chunks into embeddings. So embeddings are nothing but uh, the numerical representation of the textual data. Uh, here all of the data which are being extracted are text in the format of text. So the PDF loader is also the PDF file is in text and the CSV is also a comma separated text file you can say. And the YouTube loader will help us to extract text from the uh, YouTube file. So you can uh, broadly say that this uh, text is nothing but the caption of the video. So yeah, we are going to use an embedding model to uh, generate the numerical representations of the text and store it in a separate database. Uh, here uh, it will be a vector database or a vector store and we are going to use chroma for that. So let's go through the step one by one. First we select the embeddings. I'll be using the hugging face inference embeddings. Make sure you create an API key for yourself and uh, put it in the inference API key. So let's zoom in a little bit. I have used the sentence transformer model as the embedding model of the rack pipeline. And now I'm going to use a chroma vector DB to store all the embeddings that have been created by the model. So yeah. And now I'm going to connect all the documents with the uh, documents. And I'll also be connecting the embedding model with the embeddings of the Chroma Vector Store. And now our entire uh, retriever part is ready. And we just have to uh, use an LLM to generate the responses for our query. So we will use the chat OpenAI uh, LLM model. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I'll be using the GPT 3.5 Turbo model and make sure you create an OpenAI API key. I'll be using mine and I can show it or expose it in the video. So I'll be using my own API key for that. So now our LLM is ready since we have mentioned the model name, the API key and everything else. All of the other fields by default have some value. So we do not need to put um, the specific value into that if we do not want to. So now we have to connect the retriever components to the uh, generator component so that we can use both of them to uh, generate uh, the answers or very specific answers related to the context which we have provided. So yeah, we are going to use chains for that. First of all, we need to have the combined docs chain and we have to connect the LLM with that. And then we also need a retrieval QA chain, retrieval QA chain. 
and now we have to connect this chain with the retrieval QA chain and the chroma as the retriever component. So yeah, since our entire stack is built as you can see, now we have to build the components using the build button on the bottom right portion of your screen. Now we're gonna do that. Our stack is ready to test. Uh, now we're gonna test the stack. I have asked what are some of the values for failure. So let's see whether it can generate an answer. So yeah, it has generated some of the values of the area provided in the context are 6800 to 3150. So the answer is quite correct. Now we are going to ask something related to AI because we have uh, provided the link of the YouTube video which is related to AI. So let's ask something about that. Since I have uploaded my resume as well, I have asked something related to my resume. So I have asked where does Arya Chakraborty study? So it gave me quite a correct answer which is Kalyani Government Engineering College which is the name of my college. So yeah, it uh, gives quite accurate answers for every uh, file or the data source which I have provided in the uh, source of the rack pipeline. So yeah, as you can see creating this entire application took me just a few minutes. So you can also create your own rack pipeline and provide your own data source. Uh, then you can also uh, experiment with the embedding models and the LLMs and create a pipeline for yourself. I have used three different data sources. You can use five or six or more if you want to. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, we are going to release more videos in this topic or the video series uh, to solve new use cases. Till then, uh, if you like the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe uh, for staying tuned to more such videos. Thank you.